what is going on everyone my name is adam and i'm back here with another video today's video i just released a new um, preset pack it's going to be called the glow fx presets where you can get a ton of dope glow effects that you can use in your next music video wedding video or you know event recap um, whatever video it may be there's going to be about the or so presets that i created for you guys and a few different variations but in today's video i'm just going to show you guys how to make those uh, if you want to just follow along instead of um, going to my website and getting the pack um, if you're new here welcome to the culture and dropping new videos every week i'm um, going to hit that subscribe button and hit that like button and go ahead and comment down below some stuff that you want me to do tutorial on next and also follow me on instagram if you want to stay updated with what akb studios is doing and i'll go ahead and let's get into the tutorial so awesome guys so now we're here in the tutorial and if you want to take a look at the glow effects the new glow effects preset pack you'll see it's right here you have a few different variations with horizontal horizontal and vertical and then vertical so what you'll see is you'll see a few different variations intense normal and subtle and you'll see some color glows as well um, i'll go ahead and show you those after just so you guys can see what we do here but here's my clip right here we just see a guy performing in a music video and there's like a nice stage light on him just to hop right into it what we're going to go ahead and do is how you can do this is you can either use an adjustment layer or you can actually duplicate your clip i just find duplicating your clips a lot faster because you don't need to bring in an item so what you do is you'll go to your um, your clip right here you either hold option on a mac or alt on a windows um, computer and then you just drag up and pretty much you have your duplicated clip right there so um, the effect we're going to use today um, you can actually do it a few different ways you can either use um, a fast blur motion blur or gaussian blur um, i find gaussian blur to be the best so we'll go ahead and put the gaussian blur on here and what you want to do is make sure you have repeat edge pixels on and then just for this tutorial we'll just keep it um, we'll do a horizontal uh horizontal blur because you can see it the best so i'll go ahead and bring this up to let's just say like around 200 or so or let's do 150 that looks pretty good right there and as you can see our footage is blurred um, but we actually don't want that so what we want to do is just go ahead and change our opacity to 50 and now you can see there's a nice blur right there and the next thing we want to do is change our blend mode to um, any of these right here so you can go lighten screen color dodge linear dodge or lighter color i'll just go ahead and do screen and as you can see um, we have a nice subtle um, glow effect um, but let's go ahead and up that a little bit more right so we can see the um, horizontal lines are spreading a bit so let's go actually to 500 right so it actually looks pretty solid right there so that's what our glow effect is going to look like and just to get some more glow into it what we're going to go ahead and do is add on a lumetri color right so we'll go ahead and put lumetri scroll right to the bottom to actually grab lumetri color drag that onto our clip and then we're just going to work here in the basic tab so if you see the basic corrections um, what i like to um, mess with is just going to be the exposure so i like around maybe like a two just to brighten it up a little bit and get that um, exposure going and then be up our contrast just to get that nice feeling um, so let me go around you know let's say 90 and then just because it is kind of bright we just want the glow effect we don't need our subject brighter let's go ahead and bring our shadows down so let's go about minus 150. so that looks pretty good and so here's going to be our before and after so we now have a nice little subtle glow effect and then last thing i like to do just to top it all off i like to go and find a vr glow effect so here's going to be our vr effects um, you can probably use um, whichever one you find best but i find vr glow to be the best so i'll go ahead and grab the vr glow and place that on our clip and as you can see nothing has really changed that's what we're going to go ahead and do is change the parameters right here so what we can do is we can just go ahead and start with the luma threshold um, I find that turning it down actually brings the um, glow up. So let's go about one, um, let's go about 170, see what that looks like, 0.70. So that actually adds some more glow to our video. So let's go about um, 0.65. So that should be a little bit brighter. So that looks a lot better. And then we'll go ahead and adjust our radius. We can either go lower or, or higher. And the higher we up the threshold, um, the more effect we're going to have. So let's go ahead and start with 350. And we can see our adjustment from there. So next thing up is the glow brightness. I like it on um, about one, but you can change it to whatever you want. So let's go about um, one and a half. 
just so it's not too crazy. Maybe we'll go with 1.1. So it looks a little bit subtle. And then next up for our glow saturation, I like to turn this up. So let's go about, let's go about five and a half. So there's going to be our glow effect right there pretty much. So um, as you can see, if we toggle um, this off, then we toggle back on, give a cool glow effect. And the last thing that I like to do is actually use tint color. You can actually adjust the color of your glow. So I'll go ahead and click tint. And then once it's checked, you can actually use the eyedropper um, to actually change the color. So here's what a white glow looks like. And then you can actually change it to the red. Let's see what a red looks like. So we'll watch our video adjust. And so now you have a dope little red glow. And obviously you wanna go with a glow that goes with the color of your video. So as you can see, when well, this video has like a dark blue navyish color, obviously if you wanna just make your subject stand out, you know, choose the color of their shirt. So maybe like a red, yellow, or green will work here. Um, but I wanna choose the color of the video, something in like a dark, dark blue or navy. So I'll go ahead and go to my tint color. And I'll go down to the blues and maybe somewhere around here, just so it's bright, so it actually stands out. So we'll ch change it to blue and we'll see what that looks like. So as you can see, it kind of matches the color there and we'll wanna play that back. So that's a pretty simple glow effect right there. Um, I'll go ahead and change this back to red so you can actually see it. So there's a glow effect. And then one last thing that you guys can do, I'll go ahead and close the VR. You can also adjust the opacity depending on the intensity you want of the glow. Um, let's go ahead and put that back to 50. And then also you can adjust the um, blend mode. So let's see what lighten looks like. So if you just want more of the subject to glow, what about color dodge? You want more of like a little crazy glow. We'll go ahead and put this back to screen. And the last thing that you guys can adjust is you can actually come up here to your um, your blur dimensions and you could change this to like a vertical glow if you want the glow to be up and down or if you want like a more like a all around glow obviously put on the horizontal and vertical and then your subject will just pretty much glow like that so that's pretty much it guys um like i said if you want to go ahead and take a look at the presets that i've created the glow effects presets um, there's going to be three different variations in tense normal and subtle and then also have some color variations as well along with the variations for the horizontal horizontal and vertical and then vertical so like i said that's going to be pretty much it for this video guys if you enjoyed the video and if you thought it was helpful or insightful go ahead and leave a like down below and then comment things that uh, you want to see next in the future also guys definitely subscribe i'm going to be dropping new videos every week if you guys have any questions you know feel free to follow me on instagram and message me there um, or you can find all my links below and i'm also going to have a free pack for you guys to try out um, below in the description as well that's gonna be it for this video guys thanks for watching take care